All right, so in this video, we're going to be talking a little bit more about sequences, okay? So first off, we're going to talk about increasing and decreasing sequences. And, you know, we, we kind of understand the concept of an increasing sequence or a decreasing sequence. But now we're able to prove it, okay? Because if a sub n is always less than the term after it, okay? So let's say we're talking about the second term here, okay? If the second term is less than the third term, and the third term is less than the fourth term, and you know, whatever, putting that variable there allows us to talk about every single term, okay? If every single term is less than the term that comes after that one, then it's going to be increasing for all of our terms, okay? If it is a decreasing sequence, then you're going to have that your, your term is going to be greater than the term that comes after it, okay? That would be a decreasing sequence. And that's for all n is greater than or equal to 1. Now, if a sequence is either purely increasing or decreasing, it's called monotonic. Okay? So that's another, that's a term that's just going to pop up a lot and it's definitely really good to know. So for example, we have a sub n equals 4 over n plus 2. And we want to see if this is increasing or decreasing. Well, all we need to do, you know, you see what we're comparing it to up here. We're comparing this to a sub n plus 1, and we're trying to figure out whether this is increasing or decreasing, okay? And depending on if a sub n plus 1 is less than or greater than a sub n. Now, all we would have to do here now is just figure out what a sub n plus 1 is, and then we can compare it to a sub n. Now, if we try to find a sub n plus 1, instead of plugging in an n here, we're going to have an n plus 1, okay? Because we have an n, sub, uh, an n plus 1 in the subscript, okay? When we do that out, right, n plus 1 plus 2, that's going to be 4 over n plus 3, okay? Since n plus 3 is a larger denominator than n plus 2, the whole fraction is going to be less than 4 over n plus 2. So, we're getting that a sub n plus 1 is less than a sub n. And where do we have that case? Well, a sub n is greater than a sub n plus 1. So that means that we have a decreasing sequence, okay? So we are ending up with a decreasing sequence. All right, so nothing really too hard there. All right, so now we're going to talk about bounded sequences, all right? Bounded above, bounded below, all that good stuff. So a sequence is bounded above, okay? It's going to be bounded above. If there's a number k where a sub n is always going to be less than or equal to k for all n is greater than 1. So what we're talking about here is if we have like a an a sub n here, okay, and we have that it's kind of like what we had with uh, with L when we were talking about our limit stuff. Okay, and there is a number K, so we'll put K right here, where A sub N is always going to be less than or equal to K. So it's going to look something like this. And it can do whatever, but it's never going to be able to touch K. Okay, so it's bounded above. Or you could, on the other hand, you could say something like this. Maybe K is more of like an asymptote for it. Okay, it's bounded above. Now, bounded below is going to look like something like this. So, it's bounded below. Let's say we have a number m, something like that. Well, it's never going to touch m. All right, so that is bounded below. Now, if a sequence is both bounded above and below, so say that maybe it looks something like this. And we can put a we can put a k in here. This is called a bounded sequence. Okay, so just some uh, just some terms to get familiar with. Lastly, we need to go over the monotonic sequence theorem. Okay, this may be important for you know a couple problems that you might get on a test. Every bounded monotonic sequence is convergent. Okay, and what that means is that you have a sequence that is bounded above and below so let's say we have let's bring back our k and our m 
and it's monotonic, which means it's going to just be permanently increasing or decreasing. Okay, so it would it could look something like this. Right, that's pretty much all it can do, or it could do something like this. So it has to either converge to K or to M. Okay, it doesn't, it can't go anywhere else because it's monotonic. Okay, it can't just oscillate back and forth. And it's bounded so it can't go outside K or M. So it has to either converge to K or converge to M. Okay, and that is the monotonic sequence theorem. So we're going to be doing some example problems in the next video, but really that's going to be it for sequences. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.